See to the point of injury. Then you hit the fastball. Turn it again. And now it's time for our starting lineups. First, we will welcome the number 17 USC Sakahashi Indians. Starting for the Indian tonight. Please welcome the board number three, Jason Perkins. Number four, Makai Rivers. Number 15, Jay Chisholm. Number 20, Justin Baxter. And number 23, Jay Chisholm. And coach of the Indian Jews in that place. And introducing number 16, Richard Grant Statesman. Starting from the station tonight, a sophomore guard from the team, Ibrahim Karuba. And guard of sophomore number three, Martin Bowa. And forward to freshman number five, Jalen Smith. A sophomore forward number 10, Larry Howell. And sophomore forward number 23, Timothy Robinson. Welcome back to the Region 10 semifinal. Semifinal number two about to get underway. The six seed Richard Bland at 13 and 17, taking on seven seeded USC Salkahatchee at 18 and 13. Winner gets Caldwell in the championship game as the Cobras advance, winning today over Spartanburg Methodist by 10. Richard Bland getting to this point, taking down three-seeded Wake Tech, 81-72 yesterday. Larry Howell, 25 in the game. Martin Kawa, 16. Ibrahim Karuma with 14. For Salkahatchee, they won 84-78 against Brunswick. Grayson Kirk with 24. Jai Chisholm with 19. 15 for Justin Baxter. These two teams meeting for the third time this season. And Richard Bland won both regular season meetings back on December 2nd in Petersburg. Richard Bland won 67-59 on January 19th in Salkahatchee. Richard Bland won it 80-66. They're going to say it's Richard Bland's basketball as it was tipped out of bounds. So we're underway here in our second semifinal. In the first meeting up in Petersburg, Richard Bland was plus 14 in rebounding. It was a free throw shooting game. Richard Bland hit eight more, thus the eight point victory. In the second meeting, Richard Bland shot 44% from the field, 39% from three. Salkahatchee shot 37% from the field and three of 27 from three. And Statesman fans, this is not the same Salkahatchee team. They are red hot right now. Salk has won six of eight entering this semifinal game. And they took down the number two seed Brunswick yesterday. Martin Kawa out to Smith. Robinson hands it back off to him for Richard Bland. Here's Karuma for three. No good, rebound controlled by Chisholm. So scoreless opening minute, Everest Rivers flies into the forecourt. Bounce pass over to Chisholm. Richard Bland, a good defensive team under Andrew Lacey. And Limiting Wake down the stretch in that game yesterday. Pulled away late in what was otherwise a very tight game. Down low, the bank shot is good for Baxter. Salk gets the first points. So Baxter, who had 15 yesterday, one of the best free throw sh or one of the best shooters in the country at 64%. Smith tries to answer with a three, can't do it. Tipped rebound is controlled by Rivers. Throws it full court for Chisholm, and that pass is too long. A turnover for the Indians. During a seven-game stretch to end the regular season, Salkahatchee shot 49% as a team. And in two March games, Coming into this tournament, they shot 54% as a team and 42% from three. Three-point shooting was a trouble spot against Richard Bland in the regular season. Offensive rebound and the putback is good by Jalen Smith. So 
Richard Bland on the board. We are tied at two here in the opening couple of minutes. Almost a turnover there. Instead, here's Kirk, and he throws it out of bounds. So back-to-back -back turnovers for USC Salkahatchee. Smith to Martin Kawa. Congratulations to Martin Kawa. Saw on the Richard Bland socials that he went over the 1,000-point mark for his career during yesterday's quarterfinal game. Howell backing down. Howell to the hoop. Scoop no. Tip for the rebound. It's going off the Indians. Correction, it's off Richard Bland, they say, so Salt gets it back. USC Salkahatchee came into the tournament. Eighth in the NJCAA in assists per game. We saw multiple possessions where everybody touches the basketball. There's a lot of motion in this offense under Matt Lynch. And you'll see it on display. Very little standing around going on. Kinsella now. Here it is in action right now. Rivers to the half circle. And the fadeaway to beat the buzzer by Kirk is no good. Nice defense at the start here for the Statesmen. I mentioned this is their kind of game. Although Andrew Lacey has them playing with a little more pace than he has in the last couple of seasons. This is still first and foremost a very solid defense te defensive team. Statesmen's opponents are shooting under 31% from three on the year. Kawa from the elbow, no good. Baxter has the rebound, throws it full court to Rivers. Two on one, looking for Cancella. Was that deflected? Yes. So it'll stay with Salk. First sub of the game coming in as Reese Grocott comes in. Grocott scoreless yesterday. Kirk looking to get it in. Rivers near midcourt, hands it off to Kirk. Kirk going to work, step back jumper, yes! Grayson Kirk who had 24 yesterday gets his first jumper to go, Salkahatchee back on top. For Richard Bland, Karuma between the circles. Over to Smith. Smith backing down, and he traveled with the basketball. Nice defense there for USC Salkahatchee, and it brings us to our first media timeout. Tight opening four minutes here in our second semifinal with Salkahatchee up by two. It's time to redefine what it means to be a college student. At Catawba Valley Community College, Red Hawks do more than learn. They explore, embark, and excel. Take charge of your academics close to home. Seek new talents. Capture your degree from every angle. And build the education you've always wanted. When it comes down to it, why walk when you can soar? Raise your standards. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Discover the CBCC Alexander Complex, your gateway to college in Taylorsville, North Carolina. The CVCC experience knows no bounds. It's education that reaches you no matter where you are. With several associate degree programs and continuing education opportunities, you can unlock the full potential of Catawba Valley at the Alexander Complex. This is higher education close to home. Visit cvcc.edu to start your journey. The Ready, Set, Soar Open House is back at Catawba Valley Community College. At the CVCC Open House, you can explore degree programs that are fit for your unique goals. You can find your place in Red Hawk Nation. And while you're here, you'll be able to meet with college staff, discussing topics like financial aid, student resources, and how to make the most of a degree plan at CVCC. Last year... All right, back a little quicker out of the media timeout. Trap is on for the Statesman. It's Salkahatchee basketball. They have a 4-2 to lead. Chris Sheeman back here with you at the home studio in downtown Cleveland. Thanks for hanging out with me. Second semifinal championship game at 2 p.m. for the winner of this one. They'll have to beat the top seed Caldwell. Kirk rises, can't score. Rebound controlled by Howe. 
They were looking for Karuma. Kirk with the steal. Throws it ahead to Rivers. Can't score. Really good start defensively for Richard Bland. Got to find some offense now. Karuma to the hoop. No. Tip up. No. And that's going out of bounds. Last touched by Salka Hatch. So it'll stay with Richard Bland. Two for Grayson Kirk. Two for Justin Baxter. For Salk. Jalen Smith has the lone basket for Richard Bland. Statesman finished February with a season low 12.4 turnovers, turnovers a game. They've been taking care of the basketball down the stretch, and Smith going to go to the free throw line. Jalen Smith double figures yesterday as Richard Bland took down Wake. He scored 10 points. 68% free throw shooter during the regular season. Product of mock prep in Tennessee. Post grad there. I think it's in Chattanooga, and I think I know the guy who runs it. A little bit of a line change here for Matt Lynch. Jaden Cancella comes back in. Navarta Higgins, who had 15 off the bench, is out there. And Smith has all three right now for Richard Bland. Chisholm also back in the game. And then Baxter. So that's the five for Salkahatchee. Makai Phillips, Phipps, Diedrich, excuse me, comes in for Richard Bland. Baxter backing down, and he's two for two. Justin Baxter makes it six to three. Kawa, top of the key. Martin Kawa left of the lane. Swings it out. Phipps Diedrich back out to Martin Kawa for three. Off the back iron, comes right to Karuma. Karuma scoops it over to Howell. Phipps Diedrich putting the moves on from the free throw line extended. Can't get it to go. Cancella has the rebound. Should mention rebounding a key in this game. And the second victory for Richard Bland during the regular season. Richard Bland out rebounds Salkahatchee, 52 to 25. Attacking Kirk, lays it up, gets the friendly roll. Eight to three for Salkahatchee. Turnaround J, no good by Kawa. Grayson Kirk with four, Justin Baxter with four. Kirk putting the moves on, swings it out to Chisholm for three. No, it's tipped up and in by Baxter. So Baxter with six, and it's 10 to three, Salkahatchee. Smith will hand off to Karuma. Karuma surveys. It's like man defense for Salkahatchee. Richard Bland's been in the zone. Kawa swings it up. Phipps Diedrich fakes the three. Hill attack in the lane. Threw it away, but Howell came right to it. Back to Diedrich. And now it's a steal. Down low, Cancella will lay it up and in. And a timeout by Richard Bland. Salk on a run. 12.41 to go. They lead it 12 to three. So Cancella with his first bucket. Justin Baxter has six of the 12. And then Grayson Kirk with four. And all three points so far for Richard Bland from Jalen Smith. Richard Bland has a couple hot players coming into the tournament. Larry Howell averaging a season best 15.3 points per ball game in March. Five double doubles this year. He had 25 yesterday, so that hot streak continues for Larry Howell. Scoreless so far in the opening seven minutes, 19 seconds of this game, though. I mentioned it yesterday, kind of an up and down year for Richard Bland. Started one and five, but they played a real tough schedule. Then won five of six after that. Then a six game slide to follow that. Then they won four straight. 
really nice second half yesterday against Wake Tech in a nail-biter kind of a game. Richard Bland pulled away late. Here's Howell, one-on-one. -on -one. What an aggressive play there by Larry Howell. I told you, he's hot. Ends an 8 nothing run for Salk. Baxter missed the alley-oop, the full court alley-oop, but he cleans it up. Justin Baxter with eight. Lead back to nine for Salkahatchee. Kawa into the forecourt on the near side of your screen. Out to Hal. Hal just inside the free throw line, buries the jumper. Hal back to back. He's up to four. Higgins on the near side. Kirk into the front court. Grayson Kirk, 24 points in the quarterfinals. Hands off to Kinsella, who hands off to Chisholm. Kirk, entry pass deflected. Nicely done there by Martin Collins. Powell, bounce pass, Smith, and we got a whistle. Second team foul going to go on Salkahatchee as we go to another media timeout with the Indians up by seven. Where does education take you? Catawba Valley Community College offers premier community development and public services education. Train on industry standard equipment or take part in live scenarios with EMS and fire safety training. Our aspiring teachers can start their teaching degree with early childhood education programs. If you're a creative, come explore our cosmetology center, where your aesthetic talents will go far. Apply now. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Change the game with your technical degree. At Catawba Valley Community College, you can go beyond the textbook and learn in the innovative workforce solutions complex. We have spaces for welding labs, automotive systems, computer integrated machining, advertising and graphic design. There's no limit to what's possible at Red Hawk Nation. It's time to earn your technical degree. Apply today. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Chris Shima, glad to be back with you. Catawba Valley Community College hosting this Region 10 tournament. Second semifinal. Richard Bland with the basketball. Martin Kawa at the half circle. Kawa will back it out now. Swings it out to Howell, top of the key. Shot clock winding down. Howell. Yes, and the foul. <laughs> Larry Howell up to six, and he, I believe, has the last six for Richard Bland. So after Salk went up by eight, Richard Bland chance to cut it in half. Larry Howell does. He's got seven of the ten. Other three by Jalen Smith. Those were the first points for Richard Bland. Higgins on the far side. Statesmen have been in a trap here as we approach the midway point of this opening half. Winner plays Caldwell tomorrow, 2 p.m. for the championship. Kirk, top of the key. Kirk gets a screen, attacks. No, but he is fouled. Grayson Kirk will go to the line. Baxter has eight, Kirk with four. Two for Kansella. For Salkahatchee, Grayson Kirk. 73% at the line during the regular season. A game high 24 against Brunswick yesterday. Kirk, one of uh, four players in double figures for Matt Lynch's team. More shuffling by Coach Lynch. Lynch, excuse me. Darcy uh, Perez is in the game. 
set the lineups here in just a moment. So Kirk gets them both. He's up to six points. He'll sit down. Makai Rivers will come back in. So Rivers, Perez, Chisholm, Baxter, and Higgins, the five on the floor for Salk. There's Kawa to the elbow, buries the contested jumper. Lead is four again. And trouble in the backcourt. Chisholm able to break the press. Rivers out deep now. Richard Bland in the man-to-man. -man. We've seen them mix a man and zone here for Andrew Lacey's team. Chisholm over to Perez. Perez, nice footwork, but too strong on the shot. His putback no good, but he's fouled. So he'll go to the free throw line. 9.41 left to play here in this first half, just past the midway point in our second semifinal. So Darcy Perez with an opportunity to get on the board. Misses the first. 67% free throw shooter. One of four players for Salkahatchee from Australia. Are the Aussies up? I think I think it were a little earlier today than yesterday, or are we a little bit later than yesterday? We're a little bit later, so it might not be too early for them down there. Karuma for three, yes! Richard Bland cuts it to a one-point game. They have not led here today. Salt going quickly, trying to answer. Rivers in the corner, can't get the three. Kawa with the rebound. Correction, that was Higgins for three, I believe. A turnover here, Higgins using his body. Higgins gets the bucket. Salkahatchee leads by three, and Karuma is shaken up. He's got to go out. Phipps Diedrich will come back in. Hopefully, Abraham Karuma will be okay. That's a huge piece for Richard Bland. So inside nine to go. Statesman basketball down by three. Howell over to Kawa up top. Kawa over two defenders. Got it anyways. His second field goal. One point game again. Perez throws it into the corner. The three is good for Chisholm. He had 19 yesterday. He's on the board for the first time here today. And an offensive foul going to be called here. Phipps Diedrich Higgins I believe took that charge so Richard Bland trying to push after makes Higgins will go out now as Kirk comes back in Rivers to Perez in the front court. Perez attacks, swings it out. Chisholm extra pass to Kirk. Kirk kind of got caught up in no man's land in the air, and it's tipped by Chisholm. Steal by Rivers, then he got popped by Smith. Fourth team foul on Richard Bland. Three on Salkahatchee. Here at the eight-minute mark, we will have another timeout. 21 to 17, USC Salkahatchee by four here in the semifinals in Region 10. Why choose Catawba Valley Community College? We help people create their future. Stay on track to earn your associate's degree in a place that challenges you and encourages your growth. You can also look forward to what's next with our co-admissions partnerships, which allow students to transfer from Catawba Valley to their next university. Apply today and reach new heights this spring. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Your healthcare degree begins at Catawba Valley Community College. 
Our popular Rally Sim Hospital is the perfect place to develop skills in nursing, respiratory therapy, radiography, surgical technology, and more. Explore health education opportunities at Catawba Valley Community College and apply today. You never know what's next in store. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Catawba Valley Community College hosting this uh, Region 10 Men's Basketball Tournament. Chris Shima, glad to be back with you. I mentioned it yesterday, but uh, if you haven't had a chance, uh, our little uh, corner of the world getting some notoriety courtesy of Matt Lynch and USC Sulkahatchee. He was featured in a uh, team as well, featured in a New York Times article that came out recently. I'd like to mention for the second time this weekend, by the way, that I talked to Matt Lynch on Monday. No mention of, oh, by the way, Chris, if you're looking for some things to talk about, uh, we're going to be in the New York Times. Oh, no, 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 didn't mention that at all. I found out on Reddit of all places. But anyways, my snarkiness aside, it's a really good article. Go look it up at halftime if you haven't read it. Just the adversities at uh, USC Salkahatchee, especially over the last couple of years, as Chisholm buries the three. Salkahatchee now up by seven. They've led by as many as eight in the game. Adversity maybe that Coach Lynch has gone through personally, trying to get a head coaching job. Adversity with the school and building the program back up. A lot of really interesting storylines with this Salkahatchee program. Kirk attacks. Oh, what a play to Baxter. Justin Baxter is in double figures with 10. So again, a little halftime reading for you. I found it on Reddit not during the conversation that I had with the coach featured in the article. <laughs> I love giving them a hard time. What else are you going to do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got an issue here, and it looks like the stream has gone down. Richard Bland fans, it looks like we're okay, so hopefully that's just a little glitch. Statesman fans, I'm going to blame you if this happens again, though. Uh, YouTube's telling me that everything's okay, so Para is at the free throw line as we go forward in time, ladies and gentlemen. Salk has built out a 10-point lead, their biggest of the game. Yeah, looks like we're okay. Fingers crossed, folks. Internet at Catawba is not always cooperating fully with us. So Salk's lead is 11. Richard Bland... Got to hang in here. Opportunity to get three back. No good from Karuma. Cancela with the rebound. Kirk got cut off. Rivers. And patient offense now for Salkahatchee as we approach six minutes to go in the game. It's Rivers, a catch and shoot three, no good. Tip for the rebound, Cancela has it. To the cutter, Kirk puts it up, no. Tip up, no. And that is going to be saved. It rockets back to Perez. Hang on, Internet, come on. And then Salkahatchee, I believe, threw it away. So after all that, Richard Bland will get it back with 546 left to play here in this first half. Karuma into the front court. Martin Kawa. Good to see Karuma back on the floor. He left with an injury briefly. Howell doubled up in the lane. Swings it out. Karuma in the corner and a blocking foul called on Rivers. Four on Salkahatchee. Five team fouls on Richard Bland. <laughs> Navarta Higgins, two points here in the first half, comes into the game. Higgins, in the last seven games, 18.3 points per ball game, 
56% from three, 62% from the field. What a weapon off the bench. Howell, the fadeaway, no good, rebound by Rivers. Statesman cold right now. Biggest lead for Salkahatchee at 11. Rivers will back it out. How about this region tournament? Five, six, and seven seeds all advancing to the semifinals. Rivers to the hoop, and he scores his first basket. Lead grows to 13. Well, if you're Richard Bland, these next four and a half really important minutes. Got to try to get yourself back in it, make a run here. Hal can't get the jumper. Tip for the rebound, it's controlled by Grocott. So here comes Rivers now into the front court. Gets it down low, Grocott, couple of fakes, banks it off the glass. Reese Grocott makes it a 15 point lead. All Salkahatchee right now. Phipps Diedrich, top of the key. Bounce pass over to Karuma. Martin Kawa down to Larry Howe. Nice cut there by Smith. And good recovery defensively there, Cancella. Under four timeout, we'll take it. 32 to 17, it's all Salkahatchee right now in our second semifinal. All right, welcome back, everybody. Chris Scheman here with you. We're back to live action here in the semifinals. Statesman with some work to do. They try to get it going offensively. Smith can't get it. And the rebound controlled by Kinsella. So a great first half for Salkahatchee. They're on a nice little run here as Rivers gets it to Grocock. Then it's uh, poked out of bounds. I mentioned eight players from overseas for... Salkahatchee, four from Australia, two from England. Yeah, they got basketball in England. There's actually a basketball league, a pro basketball league in England as Higgins is off on the three. That's, uh, I know a few guys who have played in that league. The BBL, I think, is what it's called. Into the forecourt. Phipps Diedrich. Martin Cabo with four points today. Howell gets it from Smith and he is fouled. And when you're struggling offensively, get to the free throw line. So both teams with five team fouls. Larry Howell with seven points. A 75% free throw shooter. Good season for Larry Howe, 14 and 7 on the year. I mentioned he was hot coming into the tournament. Had 25 in the opening round victory over Wake. 
Gets both free throws here. Howell with nine. Richard Bland has been in the press. And so far it really hasn't bothered Salk Ahatchee. Couple of turnovers early on for Salk, but for the most part they've done well against the press. Kirk out to Chisholm, back to Kirk on the left wing. Three minutes to go in the first half. Kirk goes cross court to Higgins, pops a triple and buries it. Oh, the Aussie with a little something for Richard Bland's bench after that goes down as well. Lead is 16. Phipps Diedrich off on the three and away from the ball we have a foul called. So both teams, or correction, that's Richard Bland's six team foul. Salk still with five, 239 to go in the half. Howell not happy, picking up his first foul. Rebounding, as I mentioned, was a big reason why Richard Bland was able to win both games. I mentioned the rebounding disparity, 27, plus 27 to Richard Bland in the second game. They were plus 14 in the first game. Salkahatchee dominating the glass yesterday against Brunswick, and they're doing a nice job today against Richard Bland. Grocott down low over a double team. Gets it out to Chisholm, who attacks and scores. Chisholm now with eight. Karuma open for three. Yes! Karuma, second triple. He's got six. So briefly, Salk took an 18-point lead, their biggest. So inside two minutes to go until halftime. Indians now up 15 as Chisholm will inbound off the Statesman deflection. Chisholm driving baseline. Lost it, had it swatted by Howell. Nice defense there, Larry Howell. In transition, Karuma scoop, no, but he's fouled. No tip in. Instead, Ibrahim Karuma will go to the free throw line. Karuma had 14 points yesterday. He's up to six here today. Karuma, 11.4 points per ball game, 4.1 rebounds during the regular season. 78% at the line this year as he gets the first one. So both teams with 16 fouls. Finley Bachelor, our fourth and final Aussie to play in this game. Now, correction, we haven't seen Tyler O'Neill yet, but... Bachelor did not play yesterday. Karuma now with eight, so Matt Lynch going deeper into his bench. Kirk into the forecourt. Guarded by uh, Venable, who's in. Khalil Venable called for the foul, and it'll be a one and one here. Venable trying to sell it as an offensive foul, but officials don't bite. So Kirk goes to the line for a one and one. Cancella out, Rivers back in. Grayson Kirk with six points so far today. 73% at the line on the year. And the front end just rims in. Kirk came in with seven and a half assists per game in March. Looking for his offense more in the tournament, especially in that opening round over Brunswick when he scored 24 points. He's got eight here in the first half. Venable on the far side, 
for Richard Bland. Cross court to Kawa. He'll fire a three, no good. Ball trickled out on a deflection. Statesman extra possession. Kawa out to Venable, looking down low. It's deflected Chisholm fronting and makes a nice defensive play there for Salk. Inside a minute to play in this opening half, USC Salkahatchee has been in control by as many as 18 points here in this first half. Kirk, pull up three. Yes! Grayson Kirk with 11 in the half. And it's back to 18. Karuma step back three, trying to answer no. Rebound by Batchelor. Rivers into the forecourt. Rivers, they could hold for the final shot. Instead, they're going to the free throw line with 22.8. Kawa with his second foul. Makai Rivers, 71%. At the line this season. I mentioned all the international players, but you have guys like uh, Grayson Kirk and Makai Rivers who are from South Carolina. Kirk from Lancaster, Rivers at the line, he's from Charleston. You also have Chisholm from Somerville. Baxter's from a town I haven't heard of, and I lived in South Carolina for six years. But I imagine it's eastern, eastern part of the state. Both free throws are good. Rivers now with four. The lead grows to 20 for Salkahatchee. Dominating first half for Matt Lynch's team. And that is deflected. So it'll stay with Richard Bland, 10.2 on the clock. Andrew Lacey gonna have to coach him up in the locker room. You can tell the body language not strong right now for Richard Bland. See if they can get some momentum into the locker room as Venable attacks can't score. And that'll do it for the first half. USC Salkahatchee in control here in our second semifinal, leading 44 to 24. We'll take the halftime break, come back, bring you all the second half action here in about 15 minutes. Don't go too far. Come join a campus that believes in you. We believe everyone can belong, that their passions can be shared, and their voices can be heard. We are open to new possibilities. And we encourage you to explore what's next in store. Come join a campus where the ordinary can become extraordinary. Who knows, college could be more than you ever expected. Be more, be CBCC. Did you know North Carolina Community Colleges are not permitted to use public education funds for athletic programs? Without generous financial support, CVCC Athletics would not be possible. Thank you to every sponsor, past and present, whose donations have opened doors for our Red Hawk athletes. CVCC is committed to excellence, and we need your help to continue our athletic legacy. Scan the QR code on your screen to make a gift and become a sponsor today.
Welcome back to Catawba Valley Community College hosting this Region 10 Men's Basketball Tournament. It's seven seed USC Salkahatchee over six seeded Richard Bland. 44 to 24 as the Indians dominate the opening half. Leading scorers for Richard Bland, nine points for Larry Howe, eight for Ibrahim Karuma, four for Martin Kawa, and three for Smith. For USC Salkahatchee, two players in double figures led by Grayson Kirk with 11, Justin Baxter with 10, eight for Jai Chisholm, five for Higgins, Four for Rivers, two for Perez, and two for Cancella. As we're underway here in this second half, Chris Shima, glad to be back with you from the home studio in Cleveland, Ohio. Salka actually trying to go back door on the opening play of the half. Winner of this game will play Caldwell. 2 p.m. is the championship game tomorrow from Catawba Valley. We'll have it for you here on YouTube. Richard Bland starts with a defensive stop. Howell gets the steal. Howell backing down, and he is fouled. USC Salkahatchee reaching the uh, semis, defeating Brunswick by an 84-78 score yesterday. Richard Bland won by nine against Wake. Here's Robinson backing down, and Tim Robinson scores his first two points. He had 13 yesterday. Kirk out deep for Salkahatchee. Kirk gets a screen. Now over to Chisholm for three. Swishes it through. Jai Chisholm is in double figures now with 11. Third player in double figures. He matches Grayson Kirk for the team's lead and game high. Biggest lead for Salk, 21 now. Martin Kawa. Here's Larry Howell. Man defense for the Indians. Smith in the lane. Smith backing down. Smith got his man in the air and scores. Jalen Smith up to five points. Got to get some stops now if you're Richard Bland. Try to make a run and make things interesting here in the first, though, I'd say five or six minutes will tell the tale of how the rest of this second half will go. Rivers out deep. Rivers around two defenders, scoop and score for Makai Rivers. Richard Bayan trying to answer back. Smith came up short. Cancella has the rebound, goes to the ground, and calls timeout. So it'll be Salkahatchee basketball when we come back. 18.09 left to go here. We're just underway in the second half. The Indians with their biggest lead at 21. Did you know North Carolina Community Colleges are not permitted to use public education funds for athletic programs? Without generous financial support, CVCC athletics would not be possible. Thank you to every sponsor, past and present, whose donations have opened doors for our Red Hawk athletes. CBCC is committed to excellence, and we need your help to continue our athletic legacy. Scan the QR code on your screen to make a gift and become a sponsor today. That's me, Chris Shima. Glad to be back with you. 21-point lead for Salkahatchee. They have the basketball. Rivers into the forecourt. Goes behind the back. Swings it out. Chisholm. Chisholm back and down. Now over to Kirk. Two minutes into this second half. Winner plays Caldwell tomorrow at 2 p.m. in the championship. Kirk. Oh, what a pass to Baxter. Unbelievable play there for Salkahatchee. 
Baxter now has 12. Lead grows to 23. So a nice start to the second half here. Baseline shot is good for Smith, for Richard Bland. Jalen Smith now has seven in the game. Chisholm, top of the key, Kirk. Kirk will back it out now. Robinson on him, fires the three. Oh my goodness. 14 for Grayson Kirk. The lead is 24. Martin Kawa driving as his pocket picked and a late whistle there. It'll be the second team foul on Salkahatchee. You ever try to call a game, cut highlights, all while you have a kitty cat on your lap? If you want a career in broadcasting, I've got some stories. <laughs> They don't teach you this stuff at, at, at broadcasting college. Smith aggressive but can't score. Put back is good by Robinson. So Robinson was scoreless at the half. He's got four quick points to start the second half for Richard Bland. But they need stops. Rivers into the forecourt now for Salkahatchee. Kinsella. Kirk on the left wing. Now it's Chisholm top of the key. Shot clock winding down. Salt got to get going here. And they'll hoist. And Kirk buries it. A contested shot. It doesn't matter. Kirk now up to 17 points. We're going to get a timeout as we go inside 16 minutes left to go in this one. It's all Salkahatchee here tonight. It's time to redefine what it means to be a college student. At Catawba Valley Community College, Red Hawks do more than learn. They explore, embark, and excel. Take charge of your academics close to home. Seek new talents. Capture your degree from every angle. And build the education you've always wanted. When it comes down to it, why walk when you can soar? Raise your standards. Visit cbcc.edu to learn more. Discover the CBCC Alexander Complex, your gateway to college in Taylorsville, North Carolina. The CBCC experience knows no bounds. It's education that reaches you no matter where you are. With several associate degree programs and continuing education opportunities, you can unlock the full potential of Catawba Valley at the Alexander Complex. This is higher education close to home. Visit cbcc.edu to start your journey. Well, Grayson Kirk with some absolute dimes in this game, going back to the first half. A nice feed there. Kirk and Rivers combined for Salkahatchee. Let me load up the other one. Give me a second here. Average about 10 assists a game apiece. Look at this dime. Unbelievable. Salkahatchee in control, leading by 23 points. 15.58 left to go. Winner of this game will play Caldwell tomorrow for the championship. In Region 10, as I mentioned, you have to win. There is no at-large bids as Baxter banks it off the glass. Justin Baxter with 14 points. And an offensive foul is Smith. Richard Bland, they keep trying to go quick after the makes. And credit Salk, they've been ready for it almost every time here today. This has really been, we've talked a lot about the offense for Salkahatchee here today, but a really complete performance. They've done well against the press. I mentioned early on a couple of early turnovers, but settled in, went on a run, and they've been up double figures for most of the game. Step back three, Kirk feeling it. Not that time. Offensive rebound, Baxter the putback. Justin Baxter with 16 points. 
I got my work cut out for me trying to pick out the best plays for Salkahatchee if they are able to hang on and win this game. Because there have been some absolute highlights here today. Matt Lynch's Salkahatchee lost five of seven at one point. They were 0-4 in Region 10 play at one point. Since that time, they have won six of eight. As we have some more shuffling about, we'll tell you about the changes here for both teams. Uh, Higgins is back in. Kirk Rivers and Chisholm still out there. So Higgins and Perez, I believe the other sub. Correction, it's Grocon. Now for Richard Bland, it looks like Venable is off the bench. Correction, it's Curry. Jaden Curry, who did not play yesterday, checks in. Here's a catch and shoot three. No good by Chisholm. Karuma to Howell in the front court. Howell spins. Gets it to the cutter, and it's rejected by Grocott. And a foul called on the Statesman. It'll be their second to break up what would have been a fast break opportunity for Salkahatchee. Robinson is right back in the game. Smith will go out for Andrew Lacey's team. Chisholm looks to get it in. Here's Higgins. And the ball trickles away. A rare turnover for Salkahatchee since the early going. That's going to be a block called on Salk. Fourth team foul on them. Martin Cowell will inbound. Just about six minutes into this second half. Long way to go, but a long hill to climb for the team from Petersburg, Virginia. Curry out to Kawa. Howell right of the lane to Karuma for three. Yes, Ibrahim Karuma in double figures now with 11. First player in double figures for Richard Bland. Rivers into the front court. Rivers on the day with six points. Higgins hands it back off to him. Getting this motion offense. Higgins on the wing. Step back three by Higgins. He got fouled and he's going to the free throw line for three. Third team foul. Navarta Higgins, five points in the first half. He had 15 in the opening round against Brunswick. 69% free throw shooter, a newcomer of the year in Region 10. First team all region for Higgins. Come on, buddy. You can come up here. No good on the first free throw. No good on the second free throw. So one more coming for Higgins. Now Perez is in as uh, Kurt goes out of the game. Oh, Higgins misses all three. Rebound controlled by Howell. Here comes Richard Bland. Howell top of the key. Karuma. Robinson from the free throw line, in and out. Rebound by Grokop. Inside 13 to go in this one. Salk in control. Higgins over to Chisholm. Chisholm gets around one man, met at the rim, scores anyways. Chisholm with 13. Martin Kawa, the pull up, no. Tipped rebound came to Perez. Bounce pass goes to Rivers. Left alone, missed it short. And a rebound for Robinson. Throws it ahead to Howell. Howell attacks, finger roll, no good. 
Higgins the rebound, up and down we go. Out deep it's Rivers. Chisholm over to Perez. Cross court, Higgins corner three, no. Rebound by Karuma. Martin Kawa back to Karuma. Catch and shoot three. Grazes the rim, that's it. Home run ball by Perez down low. Laying it up and in is Rivers. Akai Rivers now with eight. Lead is 28, the biggest of the game for Salkahatchee. Richard Bland has not led. Robinson saved it out to Kawa for three, no good. Howell with the offensive rebound. Martin Kawa drives in, draws contact, and he'll go to the free throw line when we come back. 11 minutes and 18 seconds left to go here in our second semifinal. Salkahatchee in a route. Where does education take you? Catawba Valley Community College offers premier community development and public services education. Train on industry standard equipment or take part in live scenarios with EMS and fire safety training. Our aspiring teachers can start their teaching degree with early childhood education programs. If you're a creative, come explore our cosmetology center where your aesthetic talents will go far. Apply now. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Change the game with your technical degree. At Catawba Valley Community College, you can go beyond the textbook and learn in the innovative workforce solutions complex. We have spaces for welding labs, automotive systems, computer integrated machining, advertising and graphic design. There's no limit to what's possible at Red Hawk Nation. It's time to earn your technical degree. Apply today. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Chris Shima, glad to be with you as I have been for the uh, Region 10 tournament over the last couple of years. Thanks to uh, Nick at Catawba Valley, the athletic director there, for inviting me back. I'm at the home studio in Cleveland, Ohio. You and I watching Region 10 action, semifinals. And just nothing going down right now for Richard Blam as Martin Kawa has been limited to four points today, trying to Salvage the free throw trip, and he does. Five in the game for Martin Kawa, who went over the 1,000-point mark at Richard Bland yesterday. Trouble on the press. Diedrich into the game, and it looks like it's going to be a 10-second violation. That's the first time in a long time we've seen the press be effective for Richard Bland. So a nice job by the statesman there who continue to work despite being down big. So Smith to inbound it. Phipps Diedrich. Swings it out to Kawa. Martin Kawa. Flip, yes. Seven now for Martin Kawa. And we got a reach called as Rivers turned on the Jets. That will be four team fouls on Richard Bland. Salk with five. Higgins is out. Kirk comes back into the game for Matt Lynch. O'Neal into the game. Tyler O'Neal played briefly in the first half. And that pass intended for Perez goes out of bounds. Oh, 
Martin Kawa on the left wing. Smith out to Karuma for three. Yes. Karuma, one of the lone bright spots offensively with 14. Rivers splits two defenders. He'll attack, and he's going to be called for an offensive foul. It's the sixth team foul on Salkahatchee. Third foul on Rivers. Chisholm going to come back in, as is Baxter. And O'Neill will go out, so will Batchelor. Approaching the midway point of this second half here in our second semifinal from Catawba Valley. Seven seed looking strong right now. Richard Bland trying to make a little bit of a run here. Instead, it's going to be a turnover, but Smith, who lost it, got it right back. Good hustle. Karuma, heat check time. Not that time for three. Ball deflected, but Rivers is there for Salk. Rivers throws it ahead to Perez in the front court. And now they'll set up the offense. 9.38 left to play in the ball game. Salkahatchee's led by as many as 28 here today. Perez to Chisholm on the left wing. Baxter on the block, the turnaround. No, rebound controlled by Smith. Kawa goes right of the lane. Extra pass to Howell by Smith. His pull up is good. So they've shaved eight points off the deficit. Howell now with 11. Rivers into the front court. Here is Kirk. Kirk putting the moves on, double team comes, and an unselfish play again. Baxter benefits. Baxter has 18 today. And the answer by Martin Kawa. Martin Kawa now with nine. Back down the court, slam dunk by Chisholm. Chisholm with 15. Kawa tries to answer back again. This time he's stripped, but we have a blocking foul called on Rivers. That is team foul number seven on Salk. So Richard Bland will be in the bonus over the final 8-12 of this game. Venable in for the Statesman. Cancella in for the Indians. One and one for Martin Kawa, who went one out of two moments ago. Chance to get into double figures now with nine points. Had 16 yesterday in the win against Wake Tech. And he gets the first one to go. Kawa gets them both, so he's got 11. Kirk spinning, pull up by Kirk, no. Ball batted around and it comes to Howell for Richard Bland. Here's Kawa into the forecourt. Martin attacks the scoop and score. First time they've been within 20 in a long time for Martin Kawa, he's got 13. And now a steal. Karuma to Kawa and it's a timeout for Matt Lynch and Salkahatchee. So a 28-point lead is down to 16 with 7.40 still to go. We'll be back. Why choose Catawba Valley Community College? We help people create their future. Stay on track to earn your associate's degree in a place that challenges you and encourages your growth. You can also look forward to what's next with our co-admissions partnerships, which allow students to transfer from Catawba Valley to their next university. Apply today and reach new heights this spring. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Your healthcare degree begins at Catawba Valley Community College. 
Our popular Rally Sim Hospital is the perfect place to develop skills in nursing, respiratory therapy, radiography, surgical technology, and more. Explore health education opportunities at Catawba Valley Community College and apply today. You never know what's next in store. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. little run here by Richard Bland. A 28-point lead is now 16. It's Salk basketball out of the timeout. Kirk loses it. Venable with the steal. Martin Kawa's been aggressive. He stays aggressive, and it's down to 14. Sixty-nine fifty-five. Breaking the press, Salkahatchee. Now Higgins has it far side. Drives in, pull up, no. Another stop for Richard Bland and another bucket here. Makes things real interesting with still seven minutes to go in this game. We're gonna get a tie up here. Possession arrow will keep it on this side of the court though. This would be something else. Still a long way to go in this one. Martin Kawa up to 17 points. And he's going to the free throw line, just attacking Higgins. A chance to make it a 12 point game. That's four on Higgins, eight on Salk. And there's still a ton of time in this game. And now you can see that body language that I talked about for Richard Bland in the first half. Kind of see it a little bit with Salkahatchee. They got to regroup. There's always adversity in the postseason. Higgins will go out, Rivers back in. So Martin Kawa trying to go one out of two, he does. 18 for Martin Kawa, 14 in the second half. Most of that coming during this run, by the way. 28 point lead is down to 13. Here comes Kirk in the forecourt. Chisholm for three, no! Salk has cooled off. Howell attacks, Howell to the bucket. Yes, and he's fouled! A chance to make it a 10 point game. Holy cow! Larry Howe with 13. Make it 14, it's a 10 point game. Salk led by 28 in the second half. 6.29 still to go, plenty of time. If they left, get them back on YouTube. Rivers down low, and Baxter is fouled. 15 foul on Richard Bland. Justin Baxter, and more importantly, Salkahatchee in general, just needs to see something go through the hoop here and get some points back on the board. Baxter, chance to get to 20 points today. Now he's got 19 with that first free throw. Had 15 yesterday. He's really benefited from the passing abilities of uh, Rivers and Kirk here today. Yeah. 
So two out of two, lead is 12. Again, it was as high as 28 points in this game for Salk. Salk in a zone now as that's deflected off Kirk out of bounds. Here's Venable out deep. Robinson is in. He's down low. Venable will fire. No good from three. Rebound controlled by Baxter. Throws it ahead to Rivers. Rivers two on one. Takes it himself. No, but he's fouled. Six team foul on Richard Bland. Salk has nine. Makai Rivers with eight points here today. Chance to get into double figures at the line. He shoots 71% from the free throw line during the regular season. And he's short on that one. Smith will come back into the game. And Robinson goes out for Richard Bland. Well, no matter how this next five minutes, 47 seconds goes, Statesman, really impressive. They could have folded. They were down 28 points. Martin Kawa put them on the shoulders. Karuma hit some big threes, and now Howell stepping up to make it a 10-point game again. Salk breaking the press. Five and a half left to go. Kirk from Rivers now out deep with it. Cancella, scoop over to Kirk, bounce pass to Baxter, Baxter throws it away, Howell's ready for it. Can he make it a single digit game? He can. Larry Howell makes it an eight point game. Unbelievable. Kirk will back it out now. Salt got to dig deep here. This Richard Bland team has come, has shaved 20 points off this lead now. Kirk with the clock winding down. Got to get going. Chisholm fires. No. Offensive rebound. Baxter. Bucket. Yes. Big one. Lead back to 10. For Baxter, 22. No good by Martin Kawa. So Salt gets an important stop here. Rivers into the front court. Rivers will attack the runner. No, and we got a blocking foul and a late, late whistle. Smith can't believe it. He was in the restricted area. That is five on Jaden Smith. So his day is done. He finishes with uh, seven points. So Makai Phipps Diedrich comes into the game. Rivers again at the line, where he missed a couple moments ago. Another opportunity to get into double figures here. He's got eight points today. Justin Baxter leads them with 22 points. And then Grayson Kirk with 17. I wonder if Kirk has a double-double with assists. We've seen the highlight plays and passes that he's made, but I wonder if he's... Approach the 10 assist mark here today. So Rivers now with nine points today. Now in double figures, so gets two out of two. The lead is 12 with 4.01 left to go. He goes out of the game. 
And uh, Darcy Perez back in. Martin Kawa. Phipps Diedrich back to Kawa. Again, Salk in his zone. Karuma, Kawa. Takes it to the right side. Phipps Diedrich, and we got a foul called on Salk. That'll be 10 on Salkahatchee. Double bonus time for Richard Bland when we come back. 3.40 left to go in this game. We thought it was over, but we were wrong. Richard Bland trying to make things interesting. We'll have free throws for the statesmen after this. Come join a campus that believes in you. We believe everyone can belong, that their passions can be shared, and their voices can be heard. We are open to new possibilities. And we encourage you to explore what's next in store. Come join a campus where the ordinary can become extraordinary. Who knows? College could be more than you ever expected. Be more. Be CBCC. Did you know North Carolina Community Colleges are not permitted to use public education funds for athletic programs? Without generous financial support, CBCC athletics would not be possible. Thank you to every sponsor, past and present, whose donations have opened doors for our Red Hawk athletes. CBCC is committed to excellence, and we need your help to continue our athletic legacy. Scan the QR code on your screen to make a gift and become a sponsor today. That their passions can be shared and their voices can be heard. We are open to new possibilities. And we encourage you to explore what's next in store. Come join a campus where the ordinary can become extraordinary. Who knows? College could be more than you ever expected. Be more. Be CBCC. All right, welcome back, everybody. Salk's led by as many as 28 points. Richard Bland briefly got it down to eight. Right now, it's a 12-point game. Makai Phipps Diedrich, 69% free throw shooter on the year. Chance to cut it down to 10. Double bonus the rest of the way for Richard Bland. Winner of this game plays Caldwell. That will be tomorrow at 2 p.m. for the championship in Region 10, where for the fourth straight year, we'll have a new winner. Back to a 10-point game. Kirk. Some man pressure. Kirk brings it into the forecourt. 3.30 left to go in the game. Cancella out deep. Handoff goes to Kirk. Baxter, the leading scorer. Throws it up, no. And then it's off Cancella, out of bounds. Chance again for Richard Bland to get it within single digits. What fight by the statesman here. This has been really impressive. Again, like a 1-2-2 zone. Makai Phelps gets it down to Howell, and Howell scores again. Howell's got 20. And we got an issue here that has us held up briefly. Inside three minutes to go, Kirk out deep. Salk has led wire to wire. But Richard Bland showing a lot of grit down the stretch here. Kirk attacks, and he will go to the free throw line. Grayson Kirk with 17 points. 
And he's stuck on 17 as he misses the free throw. Well, Matt Lynch is not going to be happy with the way his team closed this game out. So one out of two at the line. Kirk with 18. Martin Kawa really helped spur the comeback, as did Hal Karuma, the big three as always. Kawa for three, no. And the rebound controlled by Kinsella. 214 to go. Kinsella gets it to Kirk. Kirk in the lane, off one foot, no. Still hope here for Richard Bland, still time. Martin Kawa turns on the Jets, gets to the hoop again. 20 for Martin Kawa, 16 of that in the second half. It's a seven point game. This is as close as Richard Bland has been since, boy, I wanna say maybe the 10 minute mark in the first half. It has been an incredible rally here by Richard Bland. Now all that said, Salkahatchee still has more points. And I think if you're Matt Lynch and you're over there on the bench, you have to remind your team of that because they have played jittery down the stretch here. As soon as Martin Kawa started to take over here in this second half after Richard Bland, they gotta get that swagger back that they had and close this final two minutes strong. Remembering again that they have the lead. But it's always a mental thing when you're down big and then you come back and then it's single digits. It's almost like it's tied once you get it inside 10. How many times have we seen that in basketball? Kirk into the front court. Kirk gets a screen now on a switch. Robinson on him. Chisholm gets it back to him. Looking down low maybe for Baxter. Kirk goes to work, spinning out of control. No, it's short. Robinson the rebound. Here comes Richard Bland. Kawa into the lane. Swings it out. Karuma for three. Yes! It is a four-point game. Unbelievable. And we have a whistle. And do we have a timeout here? This is absolutely incredible for Richard Bland. I mean, this is a brand new game. Brand new. I'm not sure what the whistle was about. Might have been a clock issue. We're going to get a foul here on Phipps Diedrich. So a one and one here for Rivers. Either way, it's a two possession game though, even if he makes both of them. Makai Rivers has 10. He has not been automatic from the free throw line. Two of four down the stretch. Hit his last two, though. This is still a one and one on the ninth team foul. In and out, tip for the rebound. And Richard Bland has it. Here we go. Martin Kawa into the forecourt. Kawa gets it back. He'll drive in. Lost the handle. It's a steal by Cancella. Throw ahead goes to Kirk. Kirk leaves it. Slam dunk Chisholm. Inside a minute to go in a six point game. Kawa to Karuma. Phipps Diedrich for three. Yes! One possession game. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. 42.4 left to go. A three-point game. Timeout. Catch your breath. Wipe the sweat off your brow. We're coming back in 30 seconds. Come join a campus that believes in you. We believe everyone can belong, that their passions can be shared, and their voices can be heard. We are open to new possibilities. And we encourage you to explore what's next in store. 
Come join a campus where the ordinary can become extraordinary. Who knows? College could be more than you ever expected. Be more. Be CBCC. Well, we got one for the ages going down at Catawba Valley. Richard Bland fans, are you still with us? Please tell me you didn't give up hope. It is a three-point game. I'll be honest with you. The Richard Bland highlights went into my recycling bin on my computer. Once they got down 28, I had to bring them back out. This is just heart right here. This is 100% heart. Larry Howell has 20. Martin Kawa with 20. Karuma with at least 14. I think I might be missing some points for him. Phipps Diedrich, who came in after Jalen Smith fouled out, hit a big three, and it's a one-possession game. Kirk again into the front court. Sixteen on the shot clock. Kirk. Lost the handle. It's a steal. Here comes Robinson. Two on two. Robinson stripped. Oh, no. He's stripped now. Richard Bland going to have to foul here. Oh, my goodness. That was the opportunity. That was the opportunity. Now, Darcy Perez at the line. Two points today. And that makes it a two-possession game. That's a huge first free throw. The Aussie with ice in his veins for Salkahatchee. Got them both. So Richard Bland got to go quick here. Kawa going to be fouled. Why would you foul in that situation? With as jittery as this team has been, now you're going to give up uh, free points possibly here to Martin Kawa. I don't understand that at all. Kawa with 21. Make it 22. Got to go for the steal here, get a quick foul. Can't play around, ball deflected, bodies on the ground with 3.2. This is why you don't foul, but the jump ball possession arrow favors Salkahatchee. <laughs> with 3.2. Do we have a timeout here? Yeah, I heard somebody calling timeout. So, with 3.2, it will stay Salkahatchee basketball in a one possession game. I don't really know what to say about this. Uh, this has been an unbelievable effort by Richard Bland. Their backs are still against the wall right now. Salk's got the basketball, 3.2 to go. Leading by three. If you're just joining us, here's the scene. It really hasn't been close since very early on. Salk led by 20 at halftime. They built the lead out to 28 here in the second half. I mentioned it before the half. Richard Bland, the body language just did not look good. And then Ibrahim Karuma hit a couple of threes. Okay, you're down 20. Then all of a sudden, Martin Kawa, Larry Howe woke up. So the big three were cooking for Richard Bland. Forcing turnovers. Salk, quite frankly, has played scared down the stretch here. They have been rattled completely. But again, I'll say it one more time, Sulk still has more points. <laughs> and they have 3.2, and they have the basketball, and all they need to do is get it in, 
hit one free throw, and they will survive this. But absolutely incredible here in this second semifinal. Perez will inbound. Got to get it in. That's step one. They get it in. Kirk is fouled. Now, again, with 2.2, it's a long shot to begin with for Richard Bland. I hate to say that given what they've accomplished here in this second half. But if you're Salk, one free throw ices the game. Grayson Kirk has stepped up huge here today. He's not the leading scorer. He's got 18 points. Justin Baxter is the leading scorer with 22. But a lot of those on dimes from Kirk. And it looks like Salkahatchee will survive this. If this is the way it ends for Richard Bland, it's going to be frustrating. But I hope they have their heads high because this was incredible heart on this basketball court by the Statesman. 20 now for Grayson Kirk. Salk's just got to get out of the way here. 2.2 left to go. Karuma will hoist at the buzzer. And USC Salkahatchee will go to the championship game as they hang on for dear life. Winning today, 82 to 77. Again, you absolutely tip your cap to Richard Bland. But Salkahatchee will play Caldwell tomorrow in the championship game right back here on YouTube at 2 p.m. Folks, it's been my absolute pleasure to bring you this one. My name's Chris Scheman. We'll talk to you again tomorrow for the championship game at 2 p.m. Until then, have yourself a great night. Take care.